my channel so before we jump into this I just have to say I had my first video ever to hit a million views just happen and I was so on cloud nine and excited it's not even funny it was the first video I ever posted on this channel which was um, how I knew I was pregnant like my pr first signs of pregnancy before I even missed my period before I could test positive on a pregnancy test so yeah that hit a million views and I'm just like mind blown but before I even filmed that video, I knew it was going to be like a good video. So today's video is going to be a day in the life. And you know what? I honestly think it's going to be a fall decorate with me video. I had no intentions of decorating for fall this early in September. I thought last year the girls on YouTube were crazy because they were doing it on like August 31st. Please don't do that. So anyway, but this year, um, because I need an uplift in my spirit, as you guys know, or maybe you don't know, um, unfortunately we lost my Nana to, um, she lost her battle with Alzheimer's on Friday. And on Thursday was when I filmed my last video and I was feeling like super overwhelmingly like blah out of nowhere and this might sound like crazy you might think i'm crazy but i honestly think i have a weird connection to like the universe i know that i feel things and i know things before they even happen like i might not even know it but like i knew there was something i don't know there was something in me but i always like envision something and then i swear it always happens like it's just a weird connection i have um my nana did battle with alzheimer's for quite a few years but it was very oh I don't want to get emotional um, I'm not gonna get into it because I don't want to get emotional I want to try to stay happy and positive today and just you know what I mean like just try to think positive uh, thank you so much to all of you for your love and support and your messages I, I try my hardest to read every single one of them but because you know life happens and sometimes you're not in the best mental place and sad it doesn't happen, but I want to say thank you. Seriously, thank you to every single person who's messaged me. And I'm sorry if I didn't respond to you, but yeah, it doesn't go unappreciated. And I am going to decorate for fall today because that's what makes me happy. And it's a cold, dreary day today. It's like cold and kind of cloudy and on and off rain. So definitely hardcore fall vibes. It's dropping down to like the 50s and 40s and 50s at nighttime now. And so yeah, I am decorating for fall, as I've said a hundred times in this intro. And then also I am making a crock pot chicken dinner tonight. So I will take you through my crock pot meal. And yeah, the playroom is, as you know, uh, underway. So my house is absolutely nuts. We've got toys everywhere and I'm not even mad about it because I pretty much took her playroom away from her. It's okay, we'll just clean up later, right? We're the floor. We're the floor man. What? Yeah, there's a mess on the floor. See, see, we threw those toys and I should have done me, so I do it. If you guys like Day in the Life vlogs, give this video a thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed to my channel. My name's Haley. That is Sydney. She is two and a half years old and we do all kinds of motherhood and lifestyle videos. So don't forget to click subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. Pigtails. Pigtails. I did some pigtails. And then what's got? Oh, I need to go. Now you're ready to go? Yeah. Where are we going? We're going to Hannaford to make a crock pot. <laughs> We're going to Hannaford to make a crock pot meal. Yeah. Remind mommy what to get. What did I say? So we got to get some chicken. Chicken. And corn. Corn. Ooh, and rice. And rice. Oh, we have some of this at home. So before I leave, I want to make myself a um, Nutella latte. So I've been making those recently and it's not good for my waistline i'm sure but they're really delicious i get a lot of questions about this nespresso machine because it's so small i will link it down below but if you have don't have a ton of counter space this is amazing it does come with a milk frother if you guys saw i got it for christmas um but i will link it down below i've got this feeling i'm feeling you could be the one I see no reason 
why I should ever let you go. Mm. Don't wanna wake up if I'm dreaming because you know I can't get enough of this feeling you're giving me. Don't wanna wake up. And he's insisting on wearing chapstick right now. <gasps> yep, just on your lips. <gasps> All done. Ooh. Don't worry, it's an all-natural brand. Not that it matters, but <laughs> yum. <gasps> I've got some organized camps. So, so you're organizing. She, she, you want to choose in in a bin in the. And a kiddle. I'm gonna put that in the bed so I'm gonna make a mushy new wall. Wow, you were a dream child. How did I get so lucky? Okay, huh? let's go. Let's go. Mm. This makes better lattes at home than I buy out at my local coffee place. So good. Those ones are. Like putting in the, in the box oh, okay. So these are only a dollar. This is really cute, but I don't think we need it. Ripping through our snacks like we usually do. She's already eaten most of her veggie sticks onto the pouch. Guys, the dollar spot today is fire. Hi. Hi. Where does Sydney my sack? I see no reason. Sydney's trying on hats. Why I should ever let you go. Don't want to wait up one? if I'm dreaming because oh, that one's perfect. I can't get okay, so we just got home. I ran to Hanford to grab some chicken, so now I am going to start the crock pot meal. I don't want to wake up. I don't want to wake up without you, baby, without. So we are making a cheesy chicken and rice casserole in the crock pot. It is so easy, you guys, and so stinking good. I started out by chopping up some onion, and then I used chicken tenders in my recipe. And then I did season it with some pepper, some garlic powder, some onion salt, and a little bit of dried parsley flakes. And then I topped it off with some cream of broccoli soup. You guys can use cream of chicken soup, cream of celery, whatever you choose to do in yours. And then also some low sodium chicken broth. Uh, I like to be able to add my own sodium. So then I cooked that on high for about three to four hours. I'm actually making that a little bit later than I wanted to, but we just got sidetracked at Target like always. Um, so that will cook for three to four hours on maybe not even that long because I'm only using tenders instead of big breasts. <laughs> So I brought the little bin down of kind of fall things. I don't really know what I have. I just have a few pumpkins, not a whole lot. I really need updating on my pillows, but I don't really care. So these are the ones that I've used for the past few years. And then I picked up, you know, um, these, the sign at, where did I pick this up? Um, just recently, Joanne Fabric. That one, love this cuddle weather and it's got my boho vibe to it. And then that pillow, did I pick this up at Joanne's too? Or Home Goods? it was probably Neutral, not too much color, and then let's dive into this bin. So many pockets in this. Okay, oh, there's pockets on in this. Oh, pockets. Whoa, whoa, pockets. Why wow, this mummy? <laughs> Candle holder. Candle sleeve. But yeah, I don't really have a ton of things, just enough I'm, to accent around the house. Right. So we are going to put them out. Probably around the TV stand, pop a pumpkin maybe, maybe up there. I don't know what I'll do. Swap out that summertime centerpiece. No, no, we are gonna make, we are gonna make mummy. We're just gonna put the pumpkins around the house. You wanna help me decorate? What's that a? Yeah! a We're gonna decorate? Are you excited? Give me a high five. 
Smoky. Oh, just hug it and mommy me. About to leave. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. Simple, not too colorful, but enough to be not summery. These flowers in the bin. Oh, that's right. I have to go get my front door wreath. We'll do that. Put them in the bin, please. Oh, okay. Already packing. Come Good with me. Job. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't Good know. Job. About to see the world in action. What we can be like with no distractions. We'll get away. This is what we waited for. third bowl of peppers so I decided to change out the blanket that was there because that one seems wintry to me it's just it's just screams winter but I'm really liking the way that the couch looks simple not too bad not too, I'm not a huge themey person um, I'm sure you guys know that but um, I really like that blanket how it kind of ties in and then I am going to end up leaving this here and just take that marble tray off and I've got to wash the situation and then I just got out my wreath that I've used for I don't know a few years now I got it from Pier 1 but of course they make them everywhere I honestly think Pier 1 still has this every year they bring it back but it's so cute I love it not looking back eyes on the freeway Bonnie and Clyde a classic cliche we're on the run this is what we waited for I'm about to give Sydney her nighttime dose of antibiotics for her bug bites. So you guys saw in my last video um, how Sydney reacted to her bug bites. They got so incredibly swollen and inflamed and just outrageous that I called her pediatrician to see if there was something I could put on them. And because they were hot and hard and just like growing, um, the pediatrician wanted to see her and um, they decided to give her an antibiotic and then a steroid cream, topical steroid cream, to um, calm them down. Because one, here, sorry, I'll put putting the thing down. One of Sydney's spots was the one that was of concern and why she ended up going on antibiotics. The other ones were actually an okay reaction. They, the reason why they were concerned um, about the one spot was because it kept growing. So of course they circled it and just wanted me to monitor it and within the next like 24 hours of being on antibiotics it ended up going at least not growing um and now as of today we're like day three she is not red not inflamed they're still a little bit itchy but not red not inflamed and they're responding so well so good girl all good I know a bunch of you guys have been giving me recommendations on the type of bug spray. A bunch of you have said Hello Bello, so I'm going to try that out. We do use Baby Ganex right now. Um, the only thing with that is if I miss like an inch on her head, the mosquitoes find it. And it's just crazy. So I'm thinking we'll try Hello Bello, we'll try like the off. A bunch of you said, or a few of you said the bracelets or like the fans that make a circle around you. I don't know. I'm going to try it all because <sighs> apparently they just attract to Sydney so much. 
but we'll be outside together and I won't like there's not a mosquito in sight and Sydney will still get bit. It's crazy. So anyway, just wanted to update you guys here on that in case you were not updated. Um, but yeah, they ended up getting really, really inflamed and it freaked me right out. But apparently most of them were normal, like I said, besides the one spot on her. So Sydney's playing with her easel. I'm probably gonna go add the rice and start cooking the broccoli right now. So after about three hours, I just went in and stirred everything around and kind of chopped up the chicken. You can also shred the chicken as well. It'd probably be even better if you didn't have chunks of chicken. Um, and then I'm pouring in a good helping of brown rice. I'm just using quick cook minute rice. You can use um, regular rice and cook it on the stove if you want, but I prefer the minute rice just to pop in there and it cooks so fast and then I just chopped up some fresh broccoli and threw that in my steamer um, I just have like a steamer basket that I cooked it on for about five to ten minutes before I added it to my actual crock pot So this is what I ended up doing with that sign. I'm not sure if it's gonna stay but this is here for now so I just put the gold pumpkin um, on this little shelf and then I put the cuddle weather sign here and traded out I had one of those sconces right there and I just took one of them off and moved this hanging thing um, I don't really know I don't know how I feel I think it's cute in person but I'm just wondering if maybe I should take that out and just stick the other sconce there but that is there for now if I find another spot I find another spot I'll still brainstorm I still need to find a greenery piece to put to put in there so that it hangs. And then this is just what I've done with this corner. I layered the pumpkins, wooden sign. I decided to keep the orange only because on this side I have that little orange pumpkin and I think that it, you know, I don't know. I guess I'm liking the oranges this year. And then I put this little green um, dollar pumpkin right there. I have this little leaf tray that I thought would be, I actually have had this forever, but I haven't used it um, in forever. So I thought that would be good for remote. So I just stuck that on, like you really can't see it, but whatever. <laughs> this corner I absolutely love with these pumpkins layered on these books that one of my followers made for me. If you want some personalized books in your home, she does them, love those. And then I just stuck some faux leaves that I had in there and as far as the basket goes I just have um, that blanket sitting in there and then I just stuck this little like metal pumpkin here in my bathroom because I thought that that at least fit and I'm going to change out my soap I think I still have mom soap from last year for Mrs. Myers I'm going to change that out and um, so that's just what I did in the bathroom this just adds a little bit of festive vibes to my kitchen so I just popped that there um, Nothing crazy, but it makes me feel warm and cozy and fuzzy inside. Um, and now I'm going to uh, check on dinner. So about a half hour before serving, I topped this meal off with a bunch, probably a cup of shredded cheddar, maybe even more than that, um, and then some canned corn. And then that is when I tossed in my broccoli as well and stirred everything around and let everything come up to temperature. All right, so I'm finally sitting down and eating a little bit of the casserole. Sydney had leftovers earlier because casserole wasn't ready, so she um, totally was starving. I topped it with a little bit of cheese. It looks, actually it looks not that good, but it's I bet it's really, really good. It's super hot though. So I put the broccoli, once it steamed for like five, 10 minutes, I put the broccoli right in there and mixed it all up. It's still simmering on low and it's gonna sit on low for another probably half hour, 45 minutes. Um, and then I will have a big bowl when I put Sydney down for bed. It is almost bedtime right now. Sydney's chilling, watching a little bit of TV. Um, again, I hate, she watched a little bit more TV today than um, I like. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it needs a little bit longer because the onions are a little bit, a tiny bit crunchy, but oh my word, the flavors are so good. The onion makes it, in my opinion. On the cheese, obviously. Crockpot chicken is the best. It is so tender. Mmm. And it's so easy, you guys. I love crockpot meals. Mm -mm -mm. You don't have to put any of the veggies in there, like the broccoli or the corn. Those are just the veggies that I preferred. 
You can totally put carrots in there. That would be really good. I don't, I don't really know what else. Maybe, maybe green beans. Sydney and I are going to end today's vlog. She's pooped. I'm pooped. But I'm excited that we've decorated for fall. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Give it a thumbs up. We will be back tomorrow, Wednesday, with another video. Um, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a refrigerator organizational video tomorrow. So look forward to that. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye. Goodbye. Love you.